My name is Burton Lim. I'm an assistant curator of mammalogy at the Royal Ontario Museum. And I'll be talking about photography and how I use it for my research uh, and also how I use it to document uh, species diversity in the field. So most of the stuff that I work on are bats. So they're fairly small uh, and they're nocturnal. So I have to use uh, special equipment to catch them, so such as mist nets. So when I catch a bat at night, uh, typically I will take it out of the net. Uh, and then I would take it back to camp uh, to photograph, but being that bats are small, I need uh, to bring and set up a macro uh, uh, photography setup. So I have a macro lens, I have uh, special flashes, uh, so I have to put my camera on a, a tripod, uh, and then uh, basically I just handhold the bat uh, with the macro lens. Uh, but this allows me to, uh, after the fact, zoom in to find all of the fine details uh, that help me identify some of the species. Uh, there are other animals uh, that um, we basically just capture uh, opportunistically. Uh, so I always travel around with my camera. So sometimes we'll see other animals such as mouse opossums uh, that are, you know, just foraging around for food. So sometimes we'll just catch them, you know, on vegetation. Uh, on leaves, on trees. Uh, so then we just have to photograph them that way to document those species. Uh, there are other larger mammals uh, that, uh, again, sometimes we just, you know, happen upon them as they're swimming across the river, uh, you know, trying to get from one side to the other. Uh, so a lot of times we try to uh, use, you know, whatever methods uh, that are available to document the species of the diversity of mammals. And in general, most mammals are actually uh, quite secretive. Uh, and in, in general, most ma mammals are actually active at night. So uh, a lot of times you have to uh, be a little bit tricky. So one, things, uh, one of the things we do is set up a camera trap. Uh, but they work on a combination of uh, heat and motion. Uh, so there's, there's just an infrared sensor. Uh, so if it senses uh, some type of motion uh, or some uh, heat source uh, a little bit higher from the ambient surrounding temperature, uh, then it'll take a photograph uh, of whatever triggered it. So uh, basically, hopefully we'll get larger mammals, uh, such as you know, jaguar or ocelots or deer. Uh, and if they're using these trails uh, to you know, navigate their way through the forest at night, uh, hopefully they'll pass by our camera trap uh, to pick it up. But usually the, these photographs um, are a little bit more trickier to take because you know, if it's raining or if there's a lot of wind, um, you may not get the perfect picture. So sometimes you might only get the leg or the tail or the head. Uh, but sometimes uh, that might be enough to identify, especially for the large mammals, which uh, usually have uh, characteristic uh, features that you can uh, see fairly easily. Uh, so that's one of the, uh, the great things uh, for me is that photographs allow you to uh, have a little bit more time to look at uh, you know, more of the fine details of the animals that you wouldn't normally see uh, just in the wild because um, a lot of times the animals are, are gone in a second. Uh, I also do uh, research uh, on uh, usually the small mammals, uh, so the bats and the rodents. Uh, so again, uh, a lot of times this is the only way I can document the species diversity. Uh, so sometimes I, I want photographs for research purposes. Uh, so just you know, holding it, holding a bat in my hand is fine because I just want to look at details of the face. Uh, but at other times, you know, for presentation purposes, um, I would also like to get you know a bat or uh, an opossum in natural setting. Uh, so sometimes those are a little bit more difficult, you know, to capture. Um, but when you do capture, capture them at the right moment, then, uh, you know, sort of the classic a picture you know, is worth a thousand words. Uh, so that gives a little bit more information about the behavior of the animal.